a driver's license but we have to go back tomorrow at 1 p.m. and we need a few requirements for a guy certification medical clearance a medical certificate and yeah we have to go back tomorrow yeah I'm gonna get that one. actually. We're gonna have. You can't. You can't have pets there. That's true, right? <laughs> you can just have fish. Yeah. Yeah, guys, we're home na. Gali kami kanina sa. We went to SMC side first. We're trying to convert our driver's license from the U.S. to the Philippine driver's license. Pero we needed a few um requirements or yeah this one's good yeah. you like that one yeah and th this one is good i got it for you but of course there is some over there too and so ayun nga so we need what do we need we need barangay certificate we need um medical certificate <laughs> And then we need our passport, like the stamp on the passport. I think that's what we need, um, so the date of arrival. So we need to photocopy of that. And also we need photocopy of our, uh, our ID, our um, U.S. driver's license. Oh, Information. I'm just at home. We got a new first thing. Oh. And we got it in, in. Yeah, in we, have, we have two fish tanks now, right? Yes. yes. Let me show you. Where is it? Was it the code? And who's daddy eating a donut? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we got vaccine and get the donut. And something is... Um, Sophia's going to go to class today. And then Tito Laff is going to get her from school. And then we got a drink bring, and then we got a trash can, and then we got bananas and apples. How did I put it on, too? How did I put it on? Put it on? Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, we got some <laughs> some donuts from Jayco. Oh, yeah. Actually, I, got, I bought two dozens because it's cheaper to get two dozens. So, ayan. Nakamura, guys, kasi nakasave ka ng 400 something kapag... Eh, hey, don't, don't play with those. Those are for your teeth. So, ayan. And here's the other one. Bibigyan natin sa mga guard tomorrow. Ayan. Tapos, binigyan namin yung isang box to sa friend namin. And we got two brushes. Yeah, I got two brushes. And the other one is upstairs in the room. Yeah, here's the tank that we got for the other fish. It is, uh, I think it cost like 5,000 pesos for the tank. And we ended up paying like 7,000 something. Can I put my fish in there now? For everything. It's set. Yeah, it's like a big set. It has a lot of things inside. Um, here it is. Is this a book? No. Thirsty juices. I don't know where the receipt went. <laughs> oh, here. Here's the receipt. We paid 6,090 for. Uh, we got the tank for the aquarium set up, which cost 5800 The bloodworm, which is the food, 160 And then the ocean, 
free super beta flakes is also 130 because we have the beta fish which is this fish right there so we already bought this one aquarium um maybe it was like last week and then we need another one because we have two beta when we start when we put those two together this one attacked the other one so we had to separate them and so nick decided to get another aquarium which is smaller than what we have already yeah this one comes with like a setup already it has this it has like fake plants and Rocks, little pebbles. This is the the filter, I think. The light in the filter is here. So we're gonna transfer the other fish into this one. Maybe we should put some of this over here. Sure, we can put some. Yeah, because it's kind of crowded. Yeah, let's put some of this here. Drop some plants. Drop, drop some plants. There it is. Yay! There it is. The water looks dirty, but I don't think it's dirty. Just super dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that poopy? I don't like this one pop. Oh, we already have that. No, I want the wiggle one. Yeah. Got new food. We just fed the fishy. Eat it, eat it, eat it. It's like, what is this? It's not like, oh. There it is. It's eating it now. Oh. How do we clean it? The water. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat, eat. Oh, it's eating it. Yay. Regular tank meat. Let me take all of them. Keep the thing in good shape here. Little fishy. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So, today is February 3 now. And we're getting ready to, uh, to go get our driver's license converted today um if you're here in cebu you have to go to smc side they have an lto in sm cebu city but they don't convert driver's license or international driver's license and also if your driver's license is not in english you have to i think convert it to english or something but yeah anyway so we're doing we're gonna be doing all the paperwork works today hopefully we can do it our car is not here yet but we want to make sure we have a uh, you know the appropriate the right driver's license before our car gets here and okay so i'll show you guys all the or i'll tell you all the um requirements that they ask us to do or to get a birthday certificate we have to have a photocopy of our ids or the driver's license and then uh, photocopy of passport with a stamp on your arrival if you are um i guess a foreigner you need to have acr number but we're not sure if they're gonna require me to have it yesterday they asked what i said if they asked what visa he's on he said balik bayan under my my uh, dual citizenship balik bayan uh, visa um okay or privilege and then uh, next one is a drug test and a medical certificate so they need that um and then the form the lto form so we went to smc side yesterday but of course we weren't complete with all the requirements so we weren't able to process anything plus it was already late last night uh yesterday it was already like three in the afternoon so they told us to come back today at um one one o'clock but we're going um right now it's only like nine in the morning because we have to go get um, barangay certificate first from the from the barangay where we're at. So that's what we're going to be doing first. And after that, we're going to be going to SMC side to, uh, you know, to get our driver's license um, converted. Uh, okay, next is, okay, yesterday we went to SMC Bu. That's where we got our um, medical certificate. It was at the... Uh, right next to the LTO office in SMC Booth. So that's where we got our 
our medical certificate and it was it was fairly quick quick so yeah i'm gonna show you guys the form and everything else okay so here is the form up oh, right this is the mine right here yes. yeah okay so this is the the lto uh form that you need to fill out here it is um I don't even know we don't know about all this road test score sheet because we're just gonna be um you know converting and here is the medical certificate right here and other things are over here <laughs> oh sorry i can't show that one so right now nick is trying to fill out his form i'm not sure if i'm stuck on the back but that's the uh, road test for Nice. There you go. <laughs> so we are back home. <laughs> we went to the Barangay Hall, but they need more uh, things from us. To get the Barangay certification, we need to bring a proof of uh, residency from our admin here. And then, so we have to go back there because you have to be uh, a resident of the, of here in Cebu, I guess, of the barangay for at least six months before they could give you like a uh, barangay certificate. So this is becoming a little bit more, more and more complicated for us. Pero gora. <laughs> oh my god, I'm too tired. There you go. <laughs> Have we take a picture? So we are home now. Uh, well, actually, we came home like around seven, seven thirty or eight uh, from Ayala Mall. So I will tell you about our day today. So what happened was, um, so since we are trying to get our driver's license converted to Philippine driver's license, we went to the LTO in SMC side because they said that's where we can convert our driver's license. So we went there and we found out that we need more um, requirements than what we have but at that time we only had like our passport and then our driver's license photo um, copy and so they said that we need a um, picture of our uh, passport which is the, the date of arrival and then also we need a barangay certificate and then we also need medical certificate or drug test also negative drug test result or something like that so we have the medical certificate and then so today we thought that we will be able to finish just the barangay certificate and like so easy but it turned out that it was like the hardest so far that we needed to get <laughs> and it used to be barangay certificate was the easiest you know you just go in there you pay this much and then they give it to you but not anymore it's we went into the the because there are there are two barangay halls in um around our subdivision there's one here and there's one there so they we came to the one that's really close to us hoping that it was the one uh we that our uh subdivision is included or like i don't even know how, how it works but i guess that area is for that i can't really like say all the, the places because i, I don't want to say the address anyway so we went there and we were wrong. They said, oh, that subdivision is included to the other Ranga Hall and not here. So we went to the other one where they, they told us to go and then went there, talked to someone and they said, they asked us how long we've been here. 
and oh no what what we what we wanted from there so we said we just want burger clearance and and the lady that i was talking to was a little bit snobbish and she's like not really willing to help me and i don't know maybe because uh, my husband is foreigner maybe um having a foreigner husband kind of like i don't know it's just it's <sighs> <laughs> it's so weird as soon as we walk in there everyone's like looking at us and yeah of course i also had the uh, samantha with us and my brother so anyway we, we did that we went there and told them what we needed we said we need like barangay clearance or barangay certificate i guess barangay clearance and barangay certificate are two different things and so i think barangay certificate is to prove that you live in a certain area and barangay clearance is something that you need to get like a license or uh, uh, business permit work permit those kind of things so yeah uh, doing all this like kind of like doing a little bit of research also <laughs> so anyway so we went there and they said oh sorry uh because you guys have been only been living at your residence for only three months now we cannot give you like a barangay certificate you have to be living there for at least six months for us to be able to give you a barangay certificate or something and so that's what happened and they said oh maybe if you can get like proof of residency from your admin then we we can uh, like give you a barangay certificate and so we did that so basically our entire day just revolved on that getting a barangay certificate and so we, we did that today and uh, um, the barangay and our, our residency, proof of residency form or certificate, uh, um, I think it was done at like around 3.30 and so it was a little bit later in the afternoon. We started, mind you, we started at like 8 in the morning and with all this process. So um, around 3.30, our property manager said oh you can get the the you know the the documents from from our admin department so i went there and we got it and so and so we bought for like the the sm consolation because we also need one i forgot to add that we also need like one by one picture <laughs> on top of the barangay uh, on top of the proof of residency we also need one by one picture one from one from me and my husband and also one from my brother because he's also trying to to get some requirements for the for his driver's license because uh, we want him to be able to learn how to drive so we were going to enroll him into a class and it's a different topic so anyway we walk for uh going to sm consolation and the taxi smell like like gas so nick said that smelling gas is really not safe for our brain it's like it's it's really bad for our brains and so we were like starting to get dizzy because we could smell like a really bad smell um of the gas so we we just told them oh just drop, drop us off over here and and that's it you know we we're not going anywhere <laughs> we're not going to have some consolation anymore and nick and it was like perfect because it was like right across the, the barangay hall the first barangay hall that we went to and so then it's like let's try here again and let's tell them that the other the other barangay hall was not giving us any uh, barangay certificate so we did just that and we walked in there and they said oh no because your your res uh, your residency or your subdivision is included to the barangay and not over here and so we said well can you guys like fix it for us like can you just like give it to us like we you know we really need it it's just for conversion of our driver's license so anyway the i think the like the secretary uh yeah, he's the secretary he's like oh you know let's just give it to them because on our on our our address actually said on that place is also like included in this barangay hall not just on that one because this i guess this entire subdivision is so big that two barangays actually can um like this area is like included to that barangay hall and this area is included this barangay hall and so it's like i think it works because it's still we are in this barangay and you know anyway so they made it work they, they made it happen for us they they were able to give us a birth, cert, uh, birth certificate sorry barangay certificate finally after like all this like 
going back and forth like you know talking about it and all that i didn't realize that getting a the barangay certificate is really hard i didn't realize that it was gonna be that hard i told niggas you know <laughs> anyway so um so they they gave us our finally we have our barangay certificate and the next thing that we need to do is just to get our photo IDs maybe because I told Nick that we should just have the by one one by one photo IDs just you know just in case they need it anyway we don't want to go like go back again and then back to get um, one by one photo ID so so we're just gonna do that as well but not tomorrow we've been like so tired this entire week we were just going in places every single day just to you know just to get everything uh, things done and um, get our driver's license renewed and then tomorrow um, Sophia and Samantha are supposed to be having their ballet class but I think we're gonna skip because Sophia is going to have his exam next week so we have to kind of study so anyway I think now we have all the the requirements uh, are needed for to to get our uh, driver's license renewed so oh here are the requirements they told us to do okay so our the photo id or our driver's license the photocopy of that and then passport photocopy of the the front page i think and then also the the page where you have the stamp uh date stamp and then if you are a foreigner i think you need the um, acr i'm not sure about nick so we still have to, to you know the double check that because they didn't ask us about it when we went but we have to double check that and then next is the medical certificate or drug test and then the, the last one is the barangay certificate so those are the five uh requirements also the fee the fee for the you know to get the, the driver's license renewed so those are the requirements and of course you oh, oh i forgot about the form the form you have to fill out the form and and that's it and you go to to lto and if you are in cebu you go to the smc side to get your driver's license renewed and yeah that's the only place i think here in cebu that renew at uh, renewed sorry uh converts that converts driver's license us or foreign driver's license we talk to so many uh, people to all our friends our foreigner friends and also filipino friends that has a foreigner husband that has been living here in the u in the u.s in the philippines and you know how they did it how you know how they were able to get a driver's license uh, converted or get driver's license to begin with and all that but yes we gathered so many information there are so many things like that we just like you know we weren't surprised we were so surprised that those things are actually you know possible but yeah, we even talked to a lawyer and yeah, I think we're gonna process next ACR or oh, ayan, sobrang napagod talaga kami today kasi um, grabe talaga, ang hirap pala ng, ano, ng process, no? Kasi dun sa, sa US, pasok ka lang sa DMV, you know, diba? Uh, hindi ko alam kung may appointment pa, pero nung sa Arkansas kasi, punta lang kami dun, napas change kami ng aming driver's license from a different state, convert to a different state. It was not that hard. as We had all the the requirements that they needed i think it was only like our driver's license and then that's it we just you know turn over our our old las vegas driver's license to so it could become like a uh, arkansas driver's license yeah and yeah they took the driver's license our old driver's license because um i think that was the law anyway <sighs> ayun Ang dali lang. Doon na kami pinitsuran. Doon na lahat laminated na. Labas kami. And I can't remember kung binigay na nila sa amin te uh, temporary driver's license pa lang ba or yung ano na yung parang nakakard na. I think temporary tapos yung card minail out na lang nila papunta sa amin sa address namin. So, ayun. Yun yung aming uh, day to day which was a little bit um uh, tawag dyan, Very interesting and sobrang nakaka napakahirap 
yun anyway ayun so as uh, thank you to the people or the staff that help us sa barangay hall i ordered like jollibee for them and then i got them delivered from uh sa grab so ayun yung ginawa namin kasi just you know to thank them uh i was trying to give them money so here like in, here's uh like cash and you guys can just be uh you know buy your own snacks or something like that just to snacks because we are really grateful that na hinelp nila kami kasi Ayun, wala naman talaga sila ang obligasyon na tulungan kami kasi nga, diba? Hindi kami yung talagang sa main ng itong Barangay Hill na to. Pero, they help us kasi, yun nga, wala. Kailangan talaga, syempre kasi, uh, after 30 or after 90 days, kailangan i-convert mo na yung um, driver's license mo into, or foreign driver's license mo into like the Philippine driver's license. Um, or else hindi ka na makapag-drive. Eh, yung car namin, we're hoping na by next week, uh, Monday or Tuesday, na yung car namin is ma-deliver na. So, we're just waiting for the confirmation of the payment to go through. And then, afternoon, uh, we'll have our car delivered. Hopefully, sana. And sana, uh, before noon, makuha ko na yung driver's license ko. Kasi if hindi sinig pwede, um, without the ACR. We're also processing the ACR and we're gonna, I'm gonna give you guys an update or information on that too. So, ayun. Um, so, kapag hindi nga ninig pwede makonvert yung kanya, ako lang muna yung magdadrive. So, kailangan ko talaga. Kasi, yun, sayang naman yung sasakyan kung wala, hindi madadrive, ba? Ako, kakayanin ko na lang madrive dito. Takot talaga ako magdrive. As in, um, I mean, nagdadrive ako dati so work. Um, from Sa Las Vegas pa yun ha, tapos yung ang late-late pa ng sasakyan ko, uh, yung video nung binili ko yung sasakyan ko, yung Fiat ko, na dito rin sa channel neto. So, pwede kong ilink yun sa baba. Pero anyway, yun yung ginamit kong sasakyan from home to work and grabe guys, uh, I was in the middle. Kasi yung, yung ano na yun, yung street na yun was so busy because ang dami yung mga pabrika doon, yung malalaking mga warehouses. So, ang mga kasabayan ko sa mga, mga 10-wheeler trucks, like dito, tas harap ko, sa likod ko, as in para akong na-sandwich sa gitna. So, lagi sinik na worry sa akin kasi yung aking car is super small. Nakikipagsabayan ako doon sa malalaking trucks. So, yun, parang naubos yung courage ko doon siguro. So, everyday na pumunta ako ng work, yun ang dinadrive ko. And then, so, uh, nung nagtagal na, nagka-babies kami, hindi na ako nag-drive kasi sabi ko kay Nate, like, nanindarbis ako pag nag-drive ako with the kids. Kasi nga, ah, di ba, paharurot yung mga tao doon. Eh, dito hindi naman paharurot, tapos parang bumper to bumper, tsaka hindi naman masyadong, ano, maano, gumagalaw. So, sabi ko kay Nate, I think, mahaya ko dito basta hindi lang yung mga nagpapaharurot na, you know, basta ano lang, susunod lang ako sa Agus nung, ano dito, traffic dito. <laughs> Ayun, pag, ayun pala, pagkatapos mamunta pala kami ng Ayala Mall. We went to Ayala Mall. Um, Nag-shopping lang kami ni Sophia. Nag-grocery shopping kami nila, Nick. Hindi ko na na-haul kasi, uh, ayun, wala na. Wala na akong oras kanina. So, sobrang pagod na talaga ako. So, ayun, ang, pa, nagpunta kami ni Sophia ng H&M. Yun na lang papakita ko sa inyo, guys. Ayan. Yung H&M na lang kasi, uh, hindi na talaga ako na nag-shopping. Uh, ano ba yun? sa US. <laughs> Dito talaga ako na shopping ng mga um tawag diyan ng mga ah, ibahin ko na lang siguro to na haul. So, iyon na nga guys. Ayun na, nag-shopping lang kami sa H&M and nag-grocery shopping lang kami. Hindi na ako nakapag-vlog vlog kasi sobrang busy doon, sobrang hectic. So, ayan, ayan. Here I am at vlog today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you in my next vlog.